Hi, and thanks for stopping by my channel, Coffee with My Sunshine. Today's video I am really excited for because it is actually the day of a challenge that I came up with called Using Trash to Create Treasure, and it was an open invite for any YouTube creator that wanted to join in. And basically all I asked is that they took something that was destined for the trash or recycle bin and turned it into something functional or a home decor piece or any kind of treasure that they could think up. And I wanted to say thank you so much to Kat from the channel According to Kat. She was my co-host this month and she is so, so sweet. I would love for you to check out her channel when you're done with mine and see what she created. Also, after you are done watching our videos, head on over to the playlist that we will have listed in our description boxes and see what everybody else came up with. So after all that being said, let's get into my project. So to start off, I used these two cans that I washed up and removed the label. And if your husband's watching, tell him to look away because I'm going to be using a tool that is not meant for this because my husband was actually using the hammer to um, put up a door in our kitchen. <laughs> so I went ahead and just used this tool to kind of distress this can. I wanted it to have a hammered look because I've been really liking the, um, the copper hammered decor pieces that you've been seeing. I don't know if you've been seeing them at Hobby Lobby and stuff like that, but I love the look. So anyway, basically I destroyed these cans just by hitting them with this and putting in some dents. And then I grabbed this um, hammered copper spray paint and just gave them a couple coats. And while those were drying, I just took some paper grocery bags, and mine are from Kroger, and I'm just going to cut the big pieces off because that's what we're going to be using. We're going to be making a um, table runner, and it's actually cooler than it sounds. And I can't remember if I used four or five bags, but you know, it's all different depending on the size of your table. So I just took some chalkboard paint and gave it a couple coats. I did this on all of the bags. I only did it on one side. You don't really need it on the second side. And a roller would probably work better than a brush, but this worked just fine. I just made sure the brush strokes were all going in one direction on the final sweep of them. <laughs> And you just want to make sure when you're cutting them out that the sides that there isn't going to be any sides that are like flipping up. And then you're going to take a hole punch. Mine just happens to be a heart hole punch. And then on the ends of the paper bags, you're just going to punch as many holes as you want. And you want this to be on, you want it to be like long ways, if that makes sense, because this is going to be what runs down the center of your table. And you can use rope or twine here. This is just what we're going to be using to tie each bag together. And I'll show you how I lined up the hole punch marks just so that they, um, you know, lined up with each other to tie them together. And I just made cute little bows, nothing special. And that's what it's going to look like. And this is what I did to just line them up so that they were um, lined up with each other for each bag. I just overlapped 
the bag with the hole punch on it and then made a mark and then went ahead and punched the holes and then repeated the same process for the other four bags I think three or four I can't remember <laughs> And then I had these old pieces of wood. They're actually old pieces of flooring that we've had for probably a year now in our garage and they were going to be thrown away. So I thought they would be perfect for this um, centerpiece. And I also had this scrap piece from another project I had done that I'm going to use for the bottom of this crate centerpiece. And here I just use some wood glue um, because the pieces of wood weren't that even on the bottom. I didn't know if I would be able to screw or nail them to the bottom. So I'm just going to be using wood glue because that usually holds up pretty well. And of course I had to add a little bit of hot glue just to hold it in place while the wood glue dried. And you can make this crate any size that you want. And I got these little um, corner pieces from Home Depot. They're corner braces and they're meant for the inside corners, but I'm going to put them on the outside because I just like that look of the hardware on the outside of crates. And these I think were $2.99 maybe, maybe $3.99. And they didn't have them in the dark color I wanted, so I just took a dark colored spray paint and gave them a good coating. And for the next piece, I just used this YoPlay yogurt container. It's glass. I had two of them, which by the way, the yogurt is delicious. I had never had it before, and I just thought the containers were really cute. So that's originally why I got them. And after I washed them up and took the labels off, they were a perfect fit for these glass candles. And I believe these were from the Dollar Tree a long time ago. My mom had gotten them for me. And here is the table runner all finished. I just put it over my burlap table runner. And I love the way it looks. It's super rustic, but really cute as well. And I think it would be perfect for like if you had um, plates of food on there, you could label them or different kind of pies. You could put down the center of your table and label what kinds they were kids could go crazy and just draw things on here. There's so many different things that you could do with this, but I think it's super cute. And here is that candle holder and the copper hammered tin can that I just used to hold the this lavender. And I know people think that is strange that I put lavender in my fall decor, but I just, I love the look of the purple with the oranges and creams. And this is what I did with the crate. I just filled it with a bunch of fall decor and pumpkins. Those pumpkins and that acorn is from another video that I did. I can list those also. And this is that hardware that I painted. I think it looks so cute on this rustic wood for that I used to make the crate. Well guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you liked its new series or challenge and let me know what you think of my trash to fall tablescape. Don't forget to head on over to Kat's channel and check out the rest of the playlist and show all of them love and tell them I sent you. Thanks so much for your love and support guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!